Hi everyone, welcome to another How to Draw. This week we're going to be doing Eva from the Owl Diaries. Ready? Let's go. All right everyone, with the new scenery, let's get on to our book for today, The Owl Diaries. Now, to start, I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a nice little marshmallowy shape just right around here, okay? So it's like a square, but it's not. It's just a fluffy little marshmallow. Okay. And like the owl, let's do a couple tiny triangles just on the edges. Squish. You can make the owl ears whichever way you'd like. Alrighty. And what can we do next? I think we're gonna do the feet. So we're gonna make tiny, or well, long triangles, but we're going to have them make like a curve. So kind of going down like this. Okay. So let's get on that triangle. And then we'll do the same thing for the other leg. Give it that look like we're sitting, right? Very good. And in order to make shoes, let's make a cheat. Well, not really a cheat, but it's kind of close. So we're gonna make tiny little rectangles, kind of like this. That'd be a funny foot for the Owl Diaries. Eva? Yeah, Eva. And then we're just gonna make a tiny little curve right here, okay? And kind of like her eyes, it almost looks like she's wearing a mask, but like a circular mask. So we're gonna break down the shape and make two circles that kind of go in between each other. Kind of like a Venn diagram. Just near the tippy top of the head. And then another one going right here. And another triangle for the beak. Okay, I think we're starting to make an owl like sort of shape. And We'll do another circle for the tummy, or as I like to call it, the tum-tums. And just for fun, let's do the tail, which will be almost like a little swish. So we're turning our marshmallow into a more round, like, kind of look. So I'm just going to clean up my lines a little bit. Um, now, similar to what she's got, it looks like they have almost like a round tummy. So we're just going to cut out some of this beautiful little marshmallow that we made. and just fix it up a little bit. If you're happy with the way the shape is, that's okay too. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna do a little fixer upper. Okay. And 
what we're going to do next is we're going to do the eyes that are inside, okay? So another two circles, but this time we're going to keep them decently apart from each other, okay? So I have nothing to cheat with this time. You could probably use a cup, maybe a circle sharpener, whatever you'd like. And for eyelashes, we're going to go one, two, and then three. One, two, three. And then we'll give her some eyeballs. Circle here and circle there. This doesn't look very clean at the moment, but we I promise it will soon. Okay, and then next, we're going to make, um, do you remember when we did the penguin, how we made a fin that goes like this? Well, we're basically going to do the same thing here for her ar arm. So we're going to make one over here and then one over here. And we'll just go erase that. So one, two, one, two. And then one, two, one, two. Now, I'm going to do the flowers. If you would like to follow along, please do. This will be a little bonus for after, okay? For now, we'll just finish up what we got with the owl, okay? So next, let's do her beret. So it does look like we're going to use an oval right above the head. So I'm going to do this. And then add a little tiny curved triangle. Same thing we did before. And... Looks like our little owl has a nice little line going through. So I'll move that again. There we go. Now let's get back to the shoes. As we can see, it's got a little curve here. A little curve here and to make the which we call it the shoelaces we're gonna go here like that and here like that just tiny little triangles and then two little lines and we're gonna do the same thing to this one so this like that this like that two triangles and two little lines Okay, so again, this will be the extra part for um, the flowers. So to show the end of our little bird wing, we're going to make a little tiny triangle, but with a round bottom. And then we're going to pop out a couple lines. And these flowers don't have to look just like the ones that are in there. Um, you can do whichever ones you'd like. And then we're going to make a part of a bow. Kind of like that. And let's give it some nice little places to bloom. Well, to go around. Okay. And we've got three flowers, so one, two, and three. So let's make a tulip for this one. I feel like a tulip. And then we can make a little flower. So we're just going to go and make a bunch of teardrop-like shapes. 
all around here. And let's think of one more. Um, I think we could do a rose. How to do a rose is we make one triangle. I know I use a lot of triangles. And then you just keep going around, but making odd shaped triangles as you go. And just have fun with it. That's all. Oh, that one's not really a triangle, but that's okay. And from there, we should be fine and dandy. Um, I'm going to add maybe a leaf. I feel like a leaf would be cute in the bouquet or bouquet okay all right now I think that the last thing we need to do is just clean up our design a little bit going to probably speed this part up just a teeny tad bit so that way you don't have to go through the whole process but if you would like just pause the video and you'll see me uh, we'll see the end result okay There we go. And there you have it. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a wonderful evening and show us what you've drawn.